G'day, Nick Goldschmidt here. I'm here to talk, tell you the story about a wine called Forefathers. So one day when I was helping out Louis Vuitton when I was the winemaker of Simi, I was on a plane down to Cloudy Bay going to, in New Zealand going, why am I going to Cloudy Bay to taste Cab Chard, Merlot, Savvy, Riesling, Sauvignon Blanc, Pinot? When everybody thinks New Zealand, they think Sauvignon Blanc and a little bit of Pinot, so why not make a brand that was purely about the best single vineyards from the New World? So we did a New Zealand Marlborough Sauvignon Blanc, a McLaren Vale Shiraz from Australia, Uko Valley Malbec from Argentina and a Cabernet from California of course and we released those wines, I think the first release was 1998 that we did with the Forefathers Sauvignon Blanc. The vineyard for this, vine the vineyard for this wine is up on the Brancot, so the Brancot is one of the two main soil types that are within the Wairau River in Marlborough and these are the glacial soils, so you get a little bit more water holding capacity, you get a little bit more hang time, a little bit more ripeness and I thought it would be ideal for a US palate. So this is before Layer Cake, Cupcake and all those other wine brands that are, that are multi-country. These are single vineyard wines. So up on the Brancot, we don't get any dehydration. I can push that uh, vineyard to full maturity. So we, instead of getting grapefruit and citrus, we get a little bit more passion fruit, a little bit more subtropical fruits, which makes the wines more interesting and more aromatic. On the label, we, it's called Forefathers, which means the premium appellation for that variety in the New World. This is my constitution. I wrote about wine when I became an American citizen. This is a pair of boots that we used to that I used to wear when I walked around the vineyards at Simi. This is John Hancock's signature. We stole that too, and changed it to my own name. And then wax eye is the name of the bird. They're about this big, and they fly in a flock of two or three thousand, and they eat nothing but grapes. And normally I tell people that when the wax eye start eating the grapes, that's when we pick them. But actually, this is a memorial to all the birds that have been killed in protection of the vineyards. Anyway. Enough joking. So, Forefather Sauvignon Blanc, it's going to be a little bit more aromatic, as I said, and destined for the US palate, not for the British palate, because we don't sell this wine in the UK, only in the US. And this is primarily sold in retail, actually, and Boulder Bank, which is our other one, tends to be more in restaurants. So, quite a unique product. Anyway, Forefather Sauvignon Blanc, hope you can find it in your local retailer. Cheers.